Hey right, guys, it's Robbie from Arnest Royals again. Uh, it's not going to be a long video, it's just going to be a quick update. Don't worry, these aren't dirty, I'll just put them on. Uh, a quick update on exactly how my season is going. And lo and behold, the fifth female to have her relay shed is my glorious yellow belly post hip pied now to prove that out I'm breeding her to a hundred percent hip pied uh, yeah I know the odds are a little bit sl smaller but if it proves out proves out then it's worth a shot so um, I got her from Susan at UK Exotics um, so I completely trust Susan I got this I got my green Mojave female from her um, and the, the size difference is quite scary between the two of them I mean she's quite small I'll just see if I can shift this camera down I mean, she is quite small. As you can tell, she is rather small. But she's four years old, so... Uh, yeah, she's four years old, so... I thought, why not? We'll try her, give her a go. Um, she may not deliver the goods. She, she might, I, I just don't know. Um, <coughs> I've also got, here we go, well we have Phoenix who is due to lay on the 11th of the 4th, Twizzle 15th of the 4th, Dot the 21st, Mini the 25th and now Fluke on the 1st of the 5th. Uh, those so far are all of the ones that are due to lay, I still have one left to go. And that is my spider female. She was bred to my orange dream calico male. Um, I've only been solely pairing things up. Pardon me. Um, Phoenix has only seen the lesser woma male. I'd love, I'd love to hit some. Uh, I would love to hit the lesser woma pinstripe or even just the lesser pinstripes you know, king pins are gorgeous and the way you can go with that and with woma added in who knows um if i keep a female grow up put her to the pastel phantom potion there you go uh so yeah I mean, whatever way i feel like um anyway right now as well I really don't show this girl off enough. I really don't. Um, although she's just the only, f I only fed last night. Um, so I really don't want to be messing with her. Um, but she's slowly creeping up to a thousand, gra a thousand grams. My leopard female. And if, if I get Kingpin Woma male, that's who it's going to as well uh, I'm going to try and take the leopard in a different direction instead of going the way everybody else is going with the clown and stuff like that I'll eventually do that but I need to make a clown first or buy one whichever comes first speaking of which I do have my hats in breeding just now Sorry, I've just, uh, I just noticed my pinstripe female is getting very, very restless at this moment in time. I have noticed that with uh, first time females, they tend to get very, very restless when it's their first season of laying eggs. I have noticed this. Um, I'm just hoping it's not eggs right now. It shouldn't be. Or she's early. <laughs> very early so 
Sorry guys, I'm actually just getting a little bit... <coughs> hmm. As you can see, she is starting to get extremely restless. I've never actually seen her get so restless before, so... But you can see she's... Tobler running nicely. No, no, stay in. So yeah, uh, she's looking quite nice. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Well, uh, I don't like moving them about too much, but they don't seem to mind because they're, they're, they're all kind of used to being moved and whatnot. But right now, I have my head clowns in with each other just now and hopefully hopefully they will be um my green mojave's glowing away as well so yeah uh, everyone seems to be on everyone seems to be on point so far they all seem to be doing what they should be doing and yeah um all being well this year I'm hoping for some better outcomes than last year, unfortunately. I mean, my bumblebees clutch, I, I don't know what happened. Um, but one by one, they, they slowly just, they passed away, uh, the entire clutch. Uh, I was really, really gutted because uh, I'm pretty sure I'd hit the queen bee. Um, but... Again, the temperature last year was just ridiculous. I mean, that, that temperature was absolutely ridiculous. And it did play absolute havoc with the, the incubator. I should have foreseen it, um, but I didn't, uh, unfortunately. But again, it's just a learning curve. And this year, I have it in my living room. <coughs> that way there is no way it's going to be anything I'm going to be able to see if there's anything wrong with it it's sitting perfect at 31.8 I've been ever so slightly I've been nudging it and nudging the thermostat and just getting it to where I want it to be and it's sat perfect I'll start getting egg tubs ready uh, this week Um so yeah, um, fingers crossed that I can, I'll be able to monitor it better, definitely, and fingers crossed the eggs will come along and they'll hatch perfectly on their own, so fingers crossed that I get all that. Um, I think out of all of the parents, uh, I think I am most, most excited about is the spider calico orange dream i've seen one of these in pictures obviously and oh my god it's just the orange dream the spider <coughs> because the spiders are kind of golden color to it anyway and then the calico well increases the white on the spider sometimes maybe not uh, but most of the time it does and then the orange dream will make those blacks and they'll make the gold just pop really well and like everybody says orange dream gets better with age so a spider calico orange dream it's just yeah um <coughs> i'm also quite excited to see exactly what uh, the green mojave and the banana and the cinnamon do with each other. And now, if anybody's ever seen green mojaves, um, they they are beautiful. They really are. Um, but it's that green that's going through this up the sides. It's going to be interesting to see how the cinnamon reacts with that and the banana reacts with that. So um, it it will be really really interesting. 
what else? Oh yes, definitely the disco pastel calico. Um, I'm going to be interested to see how that turns out um, because I'd hopefully keep a male uh, either disco pastel or disco calico. Just if, if I keep any, if I can keep anything, it would be definitely be the disco, uh, and then I I need to shift on my disco male because there's no point having double jean and a single so I would be shifting him on and I've also now started pairing up my albino to my Enchi Het albino um, fingers crossed again that'll be later on in the year because I've only just started doing it because she's just hit the kind of age mark and the weight mark that I like to do it at um, I like them to have at least three winters sometimes four depending on the size of them um, uh, go with my yellow belly female. I've had her now, it's just uh, let me see. Sorry, uh, oh, yeah, <coughs> she is six years old this year. Um, she's never been, she, she's never been the consistent feeder. My green Mojave has been the consistent feeder but um, she has just plodded along and then she hit 16, 1700 grams and I thought right let's just try it if she goes she goes in yellow belly hep pie bread to her perfectly and she's just kept banging the food banging the food and now she's she's there so let's hope for some healthy eggs so uh, yeah <coughs> and the same with the entry. I mean, she's had her three winters and she's up around about 17, between 17 and 1800 grams. So, again, it was on that borderline where I, I like to kind of, especially the first season, I like to get them up and above something, around about anything above 1600 with their first season that I would go with. Um, because obviously, generally, they will gain more rule of thumb anyway, they should gain more the next season um, so um, yeah, I mean that that's about it yeah, that's about it for all the updates uh, unfortunately I can't show many of them because they fed last night, I just wanted to give an update on breeding um, so I hope all you guys are having a great season and I can't wait to see all your eggs popping out so Enjoy guys and we'll see you next time.